the greatest temptation of every generation of Christians is to, in subtle ways, move away from that central message. Oh, if we would be approved by God, then we must remember Jesus Christ as preached in the Apostles' Gospel that has been given to us in God's Holy Word. The Gospel is precious. And that's why Paul urges Timothy in chapter 1, verse 14, to guard what he calls the good deposit. Guard it, protect it. He's to defend it. He is to be ready to suffer for it. He is to rightly teach it and pass it on to other faithful men who will pass it on to other faithful men. And what I find so amazing is that the emphasis in this is so different than the emphasis that is so often present in, in the younger generation of Christians. That our faith is so often more about us and how we want to express ourselves than a once and for all truth that has been established and handed to us that we're to protect and guard. How are we going to view the gospel as a generation? Is it, is it a little container of Play-Doh? Or is it a precious diamond? It makes all the difference in the world how you view it. Because if it's just a little container of Play-Doh, then you're going to take it out and you're going to shape it in a cool way. And you're going to do something new with it. And you're going to do something amazing with it. And when people look at it, they're going to say, well, that's novel. We've never seen that before. We never thought about it like that. It's amazing what you did with that Play-Doh. But that doesn't seem to be the way that Paul speaks about it, is it? It's not about you, Timothy. It's about the truth. It's like a diamond. It's been given to you to protect and guard, to hold up so that others can see it in all its beauty and all the different facets of it. You're to hold it up, you're to preserve it, you're to protect it. You're to keep it clean so that its truth can shine out unchanged. We must rightly handle this gospel. It's so easy to mishandle. Many generations have been guilty of losing their grasp of this central truth. It's so easy to lay it aside because we grow familiar with it. It's so easy to allow it to become dirty and marred by the philosophies and the ideas of our age. It's so easy to empty it of its power by failing to believe it and proclaim it. But we've been entrusted, entrusted with the unchanging truth. We, we've not been called to evaluate it or reinvent it. We've been called to preserve it and pass it on. 